Tiny Revolution. I'm Andrew Odom, and today we're going to talk about a very simple DIY project on installing cork floors. Now when you live in a tiny house and your entire house is only 30 foot long, you're looking for a flooring product that's going to stand up to almost any traffic you can throw at it. Something that's going to look as good 50 years from now as it does the day you install it. Natural Cork Flooring by U.S. Floors. Now we got this product from Green Building Supply and they've helped the entire way talking about the sustainability aspect as well as the high traffic capability of these cork floors. Now the cool thing about cork flooring is that it's a sustainable product. In fact, it's nature's green flooring, if you will, because when it's harvested, it's only harvested every six to nine years. They don't have to cut the tree down. They simply skin the cork and then it regrows the cork. Now, unlike carpet or tile or vinyl or any of those other flooring materials, uh, cork flooring is incredibly durable. It's also fire resistant, dent resistant, uh, mold and mildew resistant, uh, just a host of wonderful things that will encourage you to bring the product inside of your house the way we have here at Tiny Revolution. We're going to need a couple of things before we install. Now, as you can tell, I'm sitting on just the subfloor. There is some flooring around me that's not locked into place, but just kind of sitting here so I get a good size. Because at uh, it, when you're working with the dimensions we are in a tiny house, you're not going to have uh, pieces that just fit right in. You're going to have to do some cutting and some shaping and that sort of stuff. And that is where the difficulty level gets just a little bit higher, but not much. So let's talk about the actual product. So when you get the box of cork in, it comes in a 12 by 36 uh, panel. And now these panels are interlocking. You can see how you've got lips on two different sides uh, and then some insertion points on the other two sides. It's a simple process, actually. I'm just going to use these two sample pieces to show you how they lock into place. To piece the first course together, lift one plank off the floor at an angle, slide its end into the end of another plank, and gently press down until the tongue and the groove click together. You're going to continue joining planks end to end until the first course of your floor is complete. One of the other products you're going to need is plastic. Now we're just using a one mil plastic and we're going to use it as an underlayment for our cork flooring. Now even though our trailer and our subfloor already has moisture barrier uh, in it, in the construction of it, we also want to use this extra uh, plastic just so that no moisture could get up underneath the floor and possibly uh, sacrifice the integrity of the floor. Once your plastic is down, you're going to start laying your floor over top of the plastic just as we talked about earlier, lip to lip, end to end. So right now, I have cut the plastic and removed the plastic so that you can see just the subfloor and just the cork panels. The reason I've done that is because I really want you to be able to hear and I want to emphasize how the panels snap into place utilizing their ledges. Now, what you're going to do is you'll notice as I put the panel in, as I insert one tongue into one groove, I'm going to use my palms to kind of put a little pressure on it just to keep it tight and then I'm again going to use my palms just to knock down on the panel so that it locks into place and gets rid of all seams. So watch this. Right now we've got a double panel, one panel here, one panel here. I'm just going to lift it up and I'm going to slide the two panels together, my front panel, my back panel. I'm going to use my finger over here just to, uh, just to line up the ends right next to my wall. Once I get that nice and firm, you can see that I'm using my fingers and my palms to really put some pressure on the panel. Not a ton, you don't want to crumble anything, but enough to where as you push down you can feel a little resistance on your panel. Then once you start to see the seam here disappear, then you're just going to continue to push. Use your palms just to snap into place, go down. You want to hear a nice deep sound instead of a hollow sound, that means it's locked into place and your seams have disappeared and your floor panel is in place. After laying down your planks, any remaining plastic can simply be cut with a knife and then just gently pulled up. In about uh, 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes, no more than an hour, we were able to do our entire 240 square feet with our cork flooring. 
We're really happy with the, uh, with the result and we're excited to move on to the next step, which is gonna be to put on some trim, put on some molding, and then do our poly top coat. Now, one of the things we did do was we walked around the entire area of the tiny house and just made sure there's no weak spots, make sure all the joints were good, all the seams were nice and hidden. Again, this is an easy do-it-yourself project. We're extremely excited. We love the U.S. Floors cork flooring product. We like the sustainability, and we're really happy you chose to join us today on Tiny Revolution.